Hey guys, okay, working on this 2023 John Deere Gator. Um, adding some tread to the back tires here, because uh, as many of you know, these uh, 12 volt Gator toys have terrible traction because of the hard plastic tire. So my son just got this and uh, just having a terrible time on grass, gravel, pretty much any surface because these things have instant torque when you push down on the uh, electric pedal there so it puts all the torque to the wheels immediately and then they start to slip and because they're hard plastic they don't really have uh, too much grab and you end up just spinning more than you're actually traveling and because of that you're actually wasting more battery so um, I found a way to add traction uh, pretty economically and easily so this is just a mountain bike tire bought a couple of these on Kijiji uh, they're like 30 bucks and the guy said they're pretty new, but whatever, uh, not too bad. So 30 bucks for two, uh, it should do all four tires as long as it's at least a 29 inch uh, rim around. You might need three if you're doing all four, depending on the size of the BMX tire or mountain bike tire. But anyway, I'm just using aluminum rivets to put them on and I'm just in the process of doing one right there now by the doorway, so I'll just show you that. And yeah, it should help out a lot with uh, traction on pretty much any surface. Okay, so I'm just doing this in the doorway because I got this uh, little 90 degree little wall here and this mat I can kneel on and it holds the tire. So basically, um, the biggest thing is when you get a fresh uh, mountain bike tire, you need to cut the bead off the side that would go onto the rim. And that's, uh, that's this here. So it has wire in it. So you got to cut that to allow it to mold around the tire. And it, if you see, it has wire inside of it. So I just took side cutters, cut that off. And then I took, um, I just took these Wiss scissors here and I followed this line all the way along and just cut the bead right off, super simple. And as soon as you cut that um, wire bead off, the whole tread and everything lays flat. And then I'm using this inner lined area right here to put my rivets. And I'm just making sure that I put the rivets in the low spots so that obviously they don't wear if you put them on the high spot, they would just wear a little easier. But also this tread is keeping everything a little higher and uh, should work really well. So I've just started here with two, kind of just staggering them, not really being too crazy about spacing and stuff, but one here, one there. Um, you can put some glue. I was thinking about putting some glue, but if you stretch it and put them on, it pretty much holds itself in place. And these are sort of just guides to hold it from moving sideways. So glue would be like the next step, but you don't really need to. So I'll just show you one. I'm just using these rivets here. So there's a normal aluminum rivet, 3 16 hole with a 3 16 washer to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more grab. So what I do is I get it lined up. And then you stretch it. The more you stretch it, the better it'll hold. And then put one right on this line. The valley. That's it. I'll go through and do the rest of this. Okay, and then when you get to the end here, you just gotta do your best to cut it so it overlaps nice. Or I shouldn't say overlaps, should just butt. This is where if you had glue, it'd probably be a little bit better, but whatever, this will hold. Like I said, most of the abrasion will be happening right here. So we'll get this back on the truck. I'll show you how it bolts up. It's pretty easy. This was already assembled from John Deere. Um, 
but basically all it is is there's just this rod that goes through and then your tire goes on that red thing locks into the gear drive and then you just got to make sure pokes through and then you put your nut and lock washer on or nylon nut sorry and then I just hold the other side with a 13 got a 13 socket here And you don't tighten it, you just gotta get it till it touches the nylon part. Uh, there you go. It's good. Then we'll put our little Cap back on. Then you just pull that off. I just use this screwdriver. You want to make sure you always use jack stands, and it'll make it a little quieter too. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys.